Hello my awesome audience, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Helen and today in this video, I'm going to be guiding you on how you can search effectively using LinkedIn. Um, so if you're watching this video, is it that you have um, a LinkedIn profile and you are applying and you've not been getting jobs or you don't even know how to apply for jobs effectively on LinkedIn. So don't worry, I'm going to guide you and please ensure you watch this video to the end because I'm also going to drop some tips that will be very helpful to you. Kindly subscribe to this channel because I'm I'm, I'm ready to release a lot of videos that will be very helpful in your um, in your career, okay? Be it DevOps Cloud or any IT field. Ensure you subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, okay? Comment if you have questions and let's get started. LinkedIn connects the world professional to make them more productive and successful. So if you're on LinkedIn already, you believe with me that it is actually a platform where the world's professionals are gathered. Okay. You see businesses as well over there. You see different brands. Okay. But this LinkedIn is actually filled with opportunities. So if you've not tapped into these opportunities, you really need to tap into the opportunity right now because there's no time. I'm a beneficiary of LinkedIn. I've gotten um, contracts from LinkedIn. I've gotten a job from LinkedIn. So if I've gotten these opportunities from LinkedIn, why not you? Okay. So I want to show you how you can do this and let's go over to the LinkedIn platform. So this is my LinkedIn platform. And once you click on the home, whether you're using um, your computer or your phone, you will see this home menu over here. Once you click on home, um, you, will be, you will see a search button over here. All right. This search bar by the left. So just type your role. So depending, uh, it depends on the role you're looking for. Whatever role you have, you'll find it on LinkedIn. Okay. So for instance, if I'm interested in cloud engineer role, I'll type it over here and I'll press enter so this has listed some cloud engineer roles for me and i can actually click to see um all jobs but i don't want to randomly search i want to make use of the advanced um, job options we have here okay so i want to click on jobs and once i click on job i will even have more results as you can see 3,605 results for cloud engineer in this area. Okay. So making use of this job advanced search options, you can actually filter depending on what you want. So if you want a job that they just recently posted, you can select the past 24 hours. If you want a job uh, for last week, the one that is up to like, um, two days, three days, just the job that, that is no more than um, one week, you can select this, all right, and click on show result. And then you might want to select the experience level. Okay. If you're looking for internship, you select it over here. If it's an entry level job you want, you select it and click on show 3k result and then if you have any company in mind that means you really want to limit it to a particular company that is fine but if you're just very open to um see companies and you know select the ones you want to apply to that is also fine you can select the type of job you want if it's a full-time part-time you can actually select the ones you want so let me leave this at um, full-time okay um, some people don't really like on-site jobs. So if you want hybrid remotes, you can just select it. And as you can see, the numbers are actually, uh, the number is reducing. So I'll select show 1K results. And we, we also have easy apply. So if you don't really want to waste your time in applying, you just want a one minute application, that is fine. But um, I don't think it's really that effective using easy apply. The particular job is not easy apply. So that means if you click on this job, probably to take you to the company's website to apply directly. I believe that is more effective than going for this easy apply. And at the end of the day, no company might even call you. So it's not just to be, it's not all about being fast in application. It's about the effectiveness. 
can they call you back okay so um yeah so i'm not selecting this easy apply i can also click on all filters so i can see all the filters and i can apply them okay so experience level is here so this is where you have everything uh come together right so um we have industries here so you can select the industry you're interested in if it is it and it consulting software development human resources whatever just select them and then we have jobs or uh, function here we have title so just filter it the way you want it and click on show result and the results based on what you've um, selected will be shown here so you just have to now um, click on anyone you're interested in all right and start applying so whatever role you're, you're interested in uh, let's say you want to search for um, technical support role so let's say you're interested in technical support um, technical support engineer role right just type it and press enter and the job will be displayed uh, for you over here okay for instance if this is what you want you can just click on it but before you go into applying please read the job description so there are some people that don't really care you know they don't read job description i believe uh, via job description you can get to know what that role entails and see if that is what you can really do don't just apply blindly okay so some organizations might actually want candidates that only reside in their company or in their country actually so if you're not in that particular country and you're just applying uh, you might just be wasting your time okay so if they specify that they don't want a candidate from um, the US basically I will suggest you don't waste your time applying because they have a reason for that okay there's some job application that might take you 10 to 20 minutes so you don't want to um be wasting that time there are also some job application that can take you up to 30 minutes so you just need to read the description very well and ensure that okay you're actually good with the terms with the responsibilities and the stack so if you're equal to the task i also encourage you to come down and take a look at the skills over here so as you can see it's saying two skills on my profile because i'm not actually looking for a technical support role so um my linkedin is not optimized to get a technical support role job all right so that is why i'm just having two skills on my profile meaning i'm not really qualified for it support role uh, if i was going for it support role i would have you know enter some keywords that can help help linkedin to you know bring up my my skills over here so you can see two skills on my profile are actually um, matching their specification i can see eight skills missing on my profile so if you have something like this you may really want to update you can click here to add skill okay so you need to really have some keywords some common keywords of an it support engineer in your profile so that you can actually have um let's say seven over ten eight over ten nine over ten or even ten over ten okay because when you have very low score over here um probably your your application might not be selected so you need to ensure you have the right keyword and that you're at the top list right okay so once you're interested click on apply once you click on apply it will take you to the whatever page okay so this is the page and you can go ahead and apply for the job so i also want to now go straight to the tips i promised to give you so um it's not just enough to look for job over here and just apply no you might want to apply 
um, these tips I'm about to share with you. Please, if you are yet subscribed, I will encourage you to subscribe to this channel because I still have a lot of tips. I still have a lot of tutorials. There are actually many stuffs there are many benefits to to get okay if you if you subscribe and turn on notification on this channel thank you so much also give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video now i want to i want to show you how you can connect to um, recruiters so if you're in it whatever field you are you can actually look for recruiters here so um say you are in it right so you can type tech recruiters over here or tech recruiter and press enter okay so or, uh, because I'm not looking for a recruiter job so here I want to change it to uh, people great so as you can see we have lots of um, people here that are tech recruiters and you can then filter it by the location you're interested in so if I'm interested in um, looking for tech recruiters that are in the UK I'll just select it and show results great so if I'm interested in connecting with this um, tech recruiter from the UK I'll click on connect okay and then um, I'll encourage you to add a note when you're reaching out to recruiters add a note all right so don't just go straight away and send because thousands of people are doing the same thing so you might want to stand out click on add a note you can just briefly introduce yourself highlight your skill and just to just indicate interest of connecting with him okay and after connection you don't just want to message him directly that um, you're looking for a job try to build relationship first try to see if there can be a connection try to start with a relationship you don't just message him and say hi like just because i get high as well from people they will just say hi without any notes i believe people are busy okay so the first time after connection okay so if you eventually accept your connection don't just drop hi to him you might just thank him for connecting with you all right thank him for connecting with you and don't just bore him with a long note right away try to establish relationship okay and build it there are actually some recruiters that don't even care about your relationship some might actually snub you and that is okay so if they don't want it that is okay so try as much as possible to connect with um many recruiters as possible right and i believe some will give you a chance to express yourself some will you know ask you to send their to send your cv yeah some will definitely request to see your cv tell them you're open for um role in their company tell them how interested you are how your skills and experience has made you stand out and all those stuff right and yeah so please don't connect with this person and start saying hi he doesn't want to see that high send a very captivating message that will highlight your skill and expertise in your field right so let me cancel this i'm not i don't want to connect with him um another tip i'd like to drop is also to be active on linkedin please be active okay don't just uh, read people's posts and you will not even engage so just try to engage on people's posts so that you'll be visible people that see your engagement and even your post can easily remember you when there is an opportunity okay don't just hide and you expect to land this role you know so quick yeah a miracle can happen you can actually apply for the first time and get a role but in order to you know have everything on point i will encourage you to be visible if you go through my profile which is actually on this youtube channel um just click on the home and you see my profile if you connect with me i believe i maybe i'm trying <laughs> i believe i'm trying to be visible and all that okay so when people have opportunity they reach out to me because i'm always appearing in people's side like when you go to your profile my connection they, they see my face 
all right even though i might not really be posting like every day but they see my face frequently so that is how you can actually be visible and active and that can really help you to um, advance your career it can help you to get some opportunities you never expected job search can be tough it can be very draining i i have i've been there and it's not an easy road but i believe that if you apply this make the make use of the opportunity that linkedin has given us just ensure you tap into this platform try your best and i believe the best is coming your way thank you so much for watching this video today um please subscribe if you are yet to do so give me a thumbs up comment and thank you i'll see you in my next video bye